Good morning and welcome to another episode of Lean Living. Today I'd like to discuss bacteria, its effect on the body, the way we can introduce beneficial types into our body, and to give you a general rundown and explanation as to the benefits and downsides of bacteria. So, generally, bacteria is deemed a negative source of attention, let's just say. Um, not to say that there is no forms of um, bacteria which are bad for our health, which continued exposure to it would actually cause us great harm, if not kill us. But um, to lump every form of bacteria into one category and to describe it as a negative kind of aspect of, um, of life is actually incorrect. Uh, ourselves as thriving ecosystems with many different types of life forms on our body and working within our body to um, help us function, a symbiosis if you will, to actually even help us walk around. Uh, so for example, if we were to remove all the bacteria from our body, we would just drop down dead because we rely heavily upon these systems in our body to actually function in any form whatsoever. How can you introduce the good form of bacteria into your body without the negative? This comes under a category known as probiotics. Uh, general fermentation in terms of foods like um, foods and drinks like kombucha, sauerkraut, uh, kaffir I think is another one, uh, which is a fermented milk, um, have a system of fermentation which allows um, the good bacteria to thrive and the bad bacteria to be not present. In the instance of sauerkraut, which I've made myself, there's a and, and pickles of some sorts, you can introduce a um, solution of salt and the weighing down of um, the, the food products within a crock or bucket of some sort uh, within a liquid to rid your bad bacteria and keep the lactobacillus, which is the good stuff, in the actual food itself. Now you may have to research and investigate a little bit as to the types of food and drink that you actually like. They're not always particularly nice to our western style palates and our modern palates as well. Um, sauerkraut you can get in, in some forms in the shops and things but I, I encourage you to try different recipes and have goes that there's many different forms if you look up fermentated food, uh, foods on YouTube you'll have like a million different types try them because some of them you'll absolutely hate they stink they, they taste horrible other ones will be pleasing to the palate the stuff that you sometimes stick on your hot dogs or sauerkraut and stuff you can make that stuff at home to introduce some of this beneficial kind of uh, bacteria into your body helps your body uh, strengthen and generally stay a lot healthier than it would do in the modern diet. It's something to research, to look up, to experiment with. The benefits outweigh the negative sides to it. Uh, as I said, just have a look around Google and you shall find out what you need to know. Okay, so I hope that helps somewhat. Um, bacteria is not as bad as it seems on the, on the face of it. Uh, like I said, it is essential for our continued existence and with our modern kaiker diets uh, we are generally lacking in it and with the introduction of modern agriculture and the, the profound use of uh, glyphosate in Roundup which has a negative impact on our internal um, processes of bacteria as well as other aspects of modern eating then it would be best to uplift that system and to take in more than what is actually supplied in our modern lives. So look into this, uh, have a go, experiment, and I shall get back to you with more words of wisdom hopefully, and uh, take care of yourself, I shall talk soon.